Hello everyone, so usually in summer vacation, I usually go traveling abroad somewhere, but due to the current worldwide situation, I wasn't able to. So what I decided to do was just to travel somewhere domestically. And one of the places that I really like to go to is Busan, which is the southern coast of Korea. Right now I live in the capital of Seoul. And here there's no like coast. So you're kind of like, you're kind of like always in the city or inland or whatever. And it's like, it's kind of weird. Cause like I grew up, I grew up in Australia and I was always like 10 minutes from the beach, but I never really went to the beach. But then now that I'm so far away from it, I, for some reason I, I always want to go. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, anyway, before I get into the video, please let me know what kind of, um, what kind of things you've had to change in your life because of the current worldwide situation. What kind of things would you normally do that you're not able to do? And what have you been doing instead? So to get started, I went to Seoul Station and I took the KTX train, which is the fastest train as far as I know that goes across the country. And it took about three hours to get there. And of course I went there during the monsoon season. So there was like nonstop rain the entire trip, which was <laughs> kind of annoying, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It was enjoyed, enjoyable regardless. And I really wanted to stay like right in front of the beach. So I found a hotel there. I had these like really like specific requests that I wanted. I really wanted like a hotel that was like right in front of the beach. But at the same time, I really wanted to have a bathtub in there cause I don't have a bathtub in my apartment. And then the beach was literally like a block away, which was so good. Um, I went down to the beach like quite a few times just to go for a walk and just to chill. Um, I find that I don't really enjoy like actually going to the beach itself, like into the water and stuff as much as I used to as a kid. I think since I became an adult, I realized that like the sand that like lingers all over your clothes and your body afterwards, you have to deal with that yourself as an adult. And it's like, it's, it's not fun. But when I was a, when I was a kid, like that was, that was always my mom's job. So I never realized how much work it was. And I'm, I feel very sorry to my mom every time we went to the beach. I was kind of like craving just having a lot of um, delicious food because I, Normally, I, I tend to control what I eat a lot. It probably doesn't look like it from the kinds of videos that I make, but I plan those videos like way in advance. So I, I eat according, like on the days leading up to that, I eat knowing that I'm going to be making something pretty like intense. <laughs> so I really, I really wanted to like not, um, I really want to just like not stress about it and just enjoy and eat all the good food. So my first day I had like this pretty like, weird burger but it was it was really really good and then I walked around a bit and there was something that um, I really really wanted like I knew exactly where it would be when I came to Busan because I've been to it like so many times I mean like you can find it everywhere but there was one thing that I needed so I went to this um, the Hyundai uh, market I guess is what it's called and in the market there's this thing that I'm like obsessed with. It's like one of my, it's one of my weaknesses. It's called hotok and it's a kind of, um, it's a, I guess it's kind of like a pancake with like sugar syrup inside and the, in Busan they generally put um, like seeds inside and it's like, it's so good. Like I can't, anyway, um, I kind of got addicted to having dim sum there. I haven't had it. I don't think I've ever had it in Korea before. I, I went to Hong Kong twice, like two years ago and I just oh, dim sum is one of my favorite foods ever like while growing up it was one of my favorite things to eat every time um, every time there's like something to celebrate or a special occasion like my family always goes to have dim sum together I really I end up going to this really big shopping center called Centum City and I really like going there because they, they have like everything there and it's a really nice place to go when the weather is like really really hot or really rainy or whatever because you know, it's a shopping center and I really like because there's like there's these like two it has like two buildings that are connected f via like a bridge and there's just so much there's so many stores in there there's a lot of like there's a lot of places to see in there so it's really really it's really really nice I did a lot of shopping in there um, I was actually kind of surprised there was like H&M there had like insane sales like 90% plus or something like that it was crazy 
I feel like I had a lot of ice cream <laughs> while I was in Busan as well. The ice cream, I kept finding a lot of really cool ice creams. Like this ice cream was like, a, this was like a soy ice cream with soybean powder on top. And it was like, it's like one of my favorite ice cream. After a lot of shopping, I had to take like a bit of a rest. And then for dinner on the first day, I decided to go try this really cool pizza place that I found. They, on the second floor, they have like a, like a puppy playground, I think is what they called it. It was really, really cool. But then they also sell like puppy pizzas and puppy beers, which is kind of weird. Like the beer is obviously non-alcoholic, but they have like beers and pizza for dogs, which are really cool. I kind of wanted to try it, but then I knew I would regret it if I did. So <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> One of the nights, the rain was kind of like light. So I decided to go for a walk to the beach around 11 p.m. And I love that, I love being able to do that. I wish like I lived close enough to the beach to be able to do that, but it was nice to experience it while traveling anyway. One thing I was shocked by, um, I mean, first of all, like the beach was beautiful, even, especially like at so late of a time, but also cause, cause of like the heavy rain, like the sky was like, kind of covered in fog and it kind of looked ominous and really cool at the same time. It was so amazing. So on my last full day in Busan, the, I got out of my hotel and it was extremely sunny. I was like, I was kind of like annoyed at myself because I, I decided, I purposely decided I'm not gonna bring my sunglasses or my hat because it's gonna be raining the entire trip. So I was like, damn, like, why, did, why didn't you just bring it just in case? Cause then I could have like, I could have worn them and like not be blinded because that was the first time I saw the sun in like five days. So it was literally, it was so blinding. So that day I wanted to go back to Centum City, the shopping center I went to the first day. And I really wanted to um, try this other dim sum place because I was disappointed that the first place didn't have some of the stuff that I wanted. So I went, I went back to Centum City. I did all, I you know, went shopping, ate all the stuff I did. I came back and it was like, heavy pouring rain again. So I was like, I didn't miss, <laughs> I, I was just, I felt kind of relieved, even though like it kind of sucked that it was raining, I felt kind of relieved because I was kind of beating, up myself, beating myself up about not bringing my hat and my sunglasses. So <laughs> I felt kind of good about that. So at the end of that day, I really wanted to go to like a really nice, like, cozy and like chill cafe to just like do some drawing because there was a drawing I was trying to finish that day. So I found this really, really beautiful Japanese style cafe. And I think the only issue that I had with it was there wasn't enough like seats. There was probably like, like four seating areas and that was it. So they could only have like four people in there at a time. But it was the drink, the drinks were amazing. I had like a, I had a green tea latte, but like I've never had one that like that before. It was so good and they give you these like, the dessert that they gave with it, it was so weird. It was kind of like, it was like a really fudgy brownie, but mine was like pumpkin flavored, which was amazing. Maybe I should try and make something like that. But anyway, um, it was beautiful. It was like cat themed and it was just, it was so chill. They had, they had really chill music playing. Rain, there was rain outside and just the vibe on the inside was beautiful. And I felt so at home there while drawing. I wish, like if that was closer to me, I would go there so frequently. So to follow with this Japanese theme, um, you know, being in Busan, a, a seaside city, I decided, I felt like I would be missing an opportunity if I didn't have any seafood at all. So I decided to go find a sushi place because I really love sushi. I'm not a big fan of seafood, honestly, but sushi is kind of like one of my weaknesses, especially salmon. So I found a sushi place and then I found this really, really beautiful Japanese tea house. Like, I, it was just a coincidence that I kept going to all these Japanese places in the same day. But this Japanese tea house was so beautiful. I really wanted to go there, but I was like, kind of soaking wet at this point. All I really wanted was like some like cake or something to have for dessert. But they didn't really have like much other than like madeleines and stuff. So I went to another cafe in the end, but I was, I, I really wanted to go back to this, but this was my last night and then I had to leave in the morning. So I didn't really have a chance to go there. So on my last night, I was kind of like, I was like soaking wet. I, re I decided like, I really want to have just like a, a self-care like spa night to myself. So what I decided to do, I went to a skincare shop and I bought a bunch of, um, I bought like a face mask and bath bomb and 
face wash and all that kind of stuff. And then I, I got a bath done and it was a, it was a really nice like clay sheet mask. I've never seen a clay mask on like as a sheet mask. So it was really, it was the first time for me, but it was so relaxing. So what I did is like I put on a movie on, on my iPad and I set it up on a chair next to the bathtub and I just sat in the bath for like an hour. I didn't sit, I like laid in the bath for like an hour. It was so good. I wish I had a bathtub, honestly. I can't wait to have a bathtub again. <laughs> that was pretty much the end of my trip. So the trip back was pretty easy. Um, I was really, really exhausted when I got back, but I I had a really good time. And I, I'm kind of like, even though um, my plans to travel abroad was kind of ruined by the situation, I'm still very thankful and very appreciative of the um, opportunity that, that I had regardless because it was so relaxing. I didn't really do anything other than just like walk around a little bit, shopping, eating, and I just I just slept a lot and you know just had a really nice time like to myself and just chilling and I feel like that's really what I needed because I was really I was pretty stressed after a semester of teaching online so I'm feeling pretty good but honestly I'm already starting to feel like I need to have another <laughs> holiday so I might take a weekend trip somewhere. But anyway, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!